I'm Delilah Kaneen here at San Diego Comic Fest, and today I'm with Mr. Mark. With Delilah. Is that an awesome name or what? Delilah, I'm so glad that you, uh, I can hold it for you. I'm so glad that you chose to spend a little bit of your precious time here at San Diego Comic Fest. Now, I was invited to fly out from Houston, Texas. Um, I just got back from Mumbai Comic Con and New Delhi Comic Con in India. So, believe it or not, if you love to draw, and if your viewers love to draw, you can actually make a career out of illustrating and drawing comic book design, architecture, uh, fashion wear, interior design. Everybody always wants to know, how can I use my talent to my career? Well, I have to tell you, everything has to be drawn first by an artist. Case in point, some of my students are the top illustrators at NASA. Talking about taking an idea and transferring it to something that's real and it's something that you can touch. How about the Saturn rocket that's going to be going to Mars? So I would love to teach your viewers and you how to draw. Now, every night I go live on Facebook on my uh, markkisser.com, and I'm going to let you do a B-roll over some of this stuff. Um, I'm, I've been teaching drawing for 40 years on the show. You might see behind me, this is how I would look when I was very young, when I was your age. I was 19 when I did that show, The Secret City, in Maryland Public Television. This one right here, I was closer to 30, and we did 190 episodes of that series. Now, uh, that series, we won the Emmy, which caught the eye of Amazon Prime. And so now you can see 30 of those episodes on Amazon Prime. Isn't that fun? Do you do you have Netflix? Yeah. I'm not on Netflix. <laughs> Forget Netflix. Do you have Do you have Amazon Prime? Yes, that's what I wanted to hear. So, I'm loving being back. I grew up in San Diego, so I'm back on my home turf. I grew up in Carlsbad, and so living in Texas, I certainly miss San Diego. So, this was a wonderful excuse to get back here to California. So, what does creativity have to do with what you're doing? Like, why is it important to you? Creativity ha has everything to do with everything. You can't try to speak a sentence without being creative. Try to f do your laundry without being creative. You have to figure out how to fold that shirt, right? Everything is rooted in creative and, and in creative thinking, imagination. So the reason I teach drawing, the fundamental reason is to promote creativity and imagination with the kids. Because if they become better thinkers, more creative thinkers, you become a better citizen and a better person on the planet, right? It's all based on creativity. Um, do you have any upcoming projects that you're working on right now for the future? I grabbed the microphone again. I know, you can tell I'm very shy. I've been doing television for 40 years, so isn't it fun? Yes, it See, is. some people are born in front of the camera, yeah. and then some people like behind, look at him. He's like, oh, doing the focus, and good job. You're doing a fine job, by the way, back there. Now, uh, my current projects are, this is a brand new book. It's called You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. Why did I say you can draw in 30 seconds? Well, this book sold over a million copies in uh, 21 countries. We just got published in the Ukraine, of all things. It's called You Can Draw in 30 Days. Well, then I did another book with the Decoupled Press called You Can Draw in 30 Minutes, and that's going great. So I thought, you know what? You can draw in 30 seconds. So this is my newest book I'm working on right now. It's about a six-month out. And every day, if your viewers like to draw, every day I go live on Facebook. I do a live 20-minute lesson. You can draw with me. Oh, I know, I know. So here, you got to look at look at this, uh, this look at that image. Isn't that fun? I did a cactus drawing, 30 minutes, right? Now wait, I'm gonna. I did dinosaurs in a valley. You want to draw that, right? Yeah. Isn't that cute? Tell me it's cute. I'm an artist. I, I'm very insecure. You have to. Do you love it? Do you love it? Do you love it? Now, Calvin and Hobbes, one of my favorite artists of all time, except for Sergio over there. And I want to, have you seen, talk to him? I'm going to meet, sir. I, love, I grew up on Mad Magazine. But this is my Calvin and Hobbes takeoff. I saw someone wearing a Calvin and Hobbes t-shirt last night. So I did a half hour lesson on that. And I love trees. And so I did a, tr a tree drawing for Amazon. Is the lighting okay on that? You see that? And then... Uh, I love the fairy tale, so this is my version, Humpty Dumpty fill in the mud, so you see his butt. So those are my two current ones with uh, Live Every Day, 90 Days, 90 Drawings. We're on day 67. We post them from Facebook over to YouTube. So if you don't have Facebook, I finally realized how fun Facebook is, and everybody's leaving Facebook. So it's on uh, Instagram, it's on YouTube, and it's on Facebook.
What are you excited about today with Comic Fest? What, today, I'm excited about meeting Delilah and behind the scenes guy. I'm um, excited about uh, seeing Sergio. I haven't met him yet. And Mike and his crew at San Diego Comic Fest were so kind to invite me back. This is my second year, and I just love it. I love hanging out with my peeps. You're my, uh, my tribe of creatives. Thank you so much Thank for this interview. Yeah. Bye, guys.